hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with pocket option and of course i have a strategy here that is very powerful guys guys this strategy is one of my best strategies so far because i've actually tested this out for a couple of weeks now and it is very amazing especially for beginner and even if you're an advanced trader this strategy is for you all right i'm also taking my time to make sure that i speak a little bit slowly because i've been having a comment i've been receiving a lot of comments on my videos telling me that I speak too fast so I'll make sure that I was a call I'll make sure to actually calm down a little bit and speak I uh, was a call very slowly so you guys can catch up because this strategy is a killer strategy guys a very powerful strategy so right now let's start with the indicator we have here so over here we have three indicator so the first indicator is called parabolic SAR all right so when you click on this just if you want to put up this indicator just come over here so this is the first indicator that i use here it's called parabolic so the second indicator is called moving average and i use I, I actually use two moving average so the first the second and the third indicator is moving average all right so the setting of our parabolic um sar here is called um let's click on this edit button here the acceleration here is, is 0 0.05 why the maximum acceleration is 0.2 so that is the input setting so the style here I actually change the color to blue and of course i use a two pixel right so that's pretty much all you have to set up let me set it again the input the acceleration input is 0.05 why the maximum acceleration is 0.2 all right so the only thing you have to do here is to change the color to any of the color that you are comfortable with and of course you use two pixels so that you can say it clearly so when you don't click set so the second indicator we have here is moving average with a period setting of 24 where the moving average is ema all right so just click that and this is how the ema you need to select not sma so make sure you're selecting ema and of course the style right here is green so I actually change um what's it called the pixels to the line thickness to two pixel so when you don't click save so the last indicator is another moving average with a period of six moving average is ema as well so the style right here it's red all right i used red color and of course two pixel as well so when you don't just click save so that's pretty much all you have to do so guys on um, this strategy i'll be taking like a two trade before i come down and explain to you in a very what's it called in a very full details how this strategy work when a couple of the trade i took i'm definitely gonna i like i'm gonna, definitely gonna explain in detail so that you guys can understand like i said earlier on this strategy is one of the best strategies so far so guys you need to stay tuned i'll be analyzing the market and i've actually put up my currency pair up all right i've actually put up the best currency pair up i also made a video on how to actually spot uh, what's it called a bad market on a currency pair so i've actually analyzed the market and of course these are the best coins appear that i have here so i've actually put it up so right now i'm analyzing guys so when i get a good move okay before i go sorry guys the trade time is actually one minute so it's a one minute trade, and of course it's 30 second counter time frame all right so we're using 30 second counter time frame and one minute straight time all right so right now i'm analyzing the market so when i get a good moment i'll come down i'll take a trade and of course i'm going to explain the reason why i enter the trade all right okay guys over here i find a very good moment so i actually enter my trade and the reason why i enter this trade is very simple all right so what i actually say here is that uh our what you just have to put in mind is that you must have your parabolic uh what's it called indicator coming down so these are the dot the dot must be heading down the intersection between the both moving average which is the red and the green must occur as you can see the intersection actually occur right on this position I see them calling down. Uh, I see them pulling down. If you're seeing this moment, it will be a great moment for you to put in the trade. All right, as you can see, we're in a good time on this one. So, guys, let's wait and see. We have less than 20 seconds. I will be taking another trade after this one. And of course, I'm going to explain in full details uh, what's it called the signal you need to catch before you put in the money. So, guys, you need to stay put. All right, so we have less than seven seconds. I'm going to release on five seconds like this okay so we write on the money all right so on the money on that guy that's a good one so guys i'll be analyzing again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade and after then i'm going to explain in full details how this strategy works all right so stay tuned 
Okay guys, over here I find a good moment for call option trade. As you can see, um, the our boot moving average line actually intersect here. As you can see, the boot line actually intersect right on this moment. And not only that, our um parabolic SAR um actually heading up on this, but the point is actually heading up, which is giving us that the market will be pulling up any moment. So that's what I see before I actually enter this trade. So guys, let's wait and see. If we're gonna be in the money in a couple of few minutes, in a couple of few seconds, we have less than 30 seconds on this one. So guys, let's wait and see if this is gonna be another good one in a couple of few seconds, all right? Okay guys, we have less than four seconds. So let's see. All right, win the money on that. That's another good one, win the money on that. All right, let me explain real quick how this strategy work. Um, all, all you just have to look at is very simple. Please, I want you guys to be attentive on this one. It's very, very important. All you just have to look is very simple. Like I said, all if you're taking a trade for call option, just like the last trade I took, all you have to see with the parabolic SAR is that the dot line, all right, this dot line must be heading up so good, all right? So the moving average line, your first moving average line that will put up here, the first moving average line, which is the green, must be below, below the red, why the, the last moving average line which is this red must be above it so like i said if you are taking a trade for call option all right your s your uh, what's it called your parabolic sar must be heading up the dot must be heading up see down here that is heading up your first moving average which is this green line must be below the second moving average which is this lowered line but the most important thing that intersection must happen make sure that the boot line actually crosses each other so if you are taking a trade for call option uh, what's it called the green line must be below the red line must be above heading up before you enter the trade the same thing happen if you are taking a trade for what's it called for um put option you um what's it called your just like what happened here let me actually get the moment okay let's use this as an example as you can see your um there must be a pull down of your um parabolic essay out the line must be heading down your first moving average must be below uh what's it called your first moving average must be uh must be below must be above the red line all right the green line must be above the red line why the um was the red line must be below it and but the most important thing the intersection must happen must happen before you decide to enter the trade all right this is just the strategy guys this strategy is very powerful if you are taking a trade all right with uh what's it called the right market so guys let's um I'll be analyzing again now. So when I get another good moment, I'll come down and enter the trade. And of course, I'm gonna to explain to you the reason why I entered that trade. All right, guys. Okay, as so you can see, this is the right moment for me to enter this trade. So over here, um, our, our parabolic just started coming down and the intersection just happened here. So it will be a good moment for me to enter the trade right here. Okay, there's a pullback. There's a pull up in the market, which actually gave me a good advantage. So that's a good one. So guys, um, this is a very good one here. I'm so certain that I'm going to lock in at the money because the market, uh, what's it called, is very aggressive right now. And the pull down is very, very huge. So I know that in a couple of few seconds, I'll be I'll be so sure in the money. We have less than, uh, what's it called, 30 seconds right now. So guys, let's wait and see if we're going to lock in the money in a couple of few seconds, all right? Okay, guys, we have less than five seconds. All right. Okay, we're in a good time. We're in the money on that as well. So that's a good moment, guys. We're in the money on that, all right? So guys, this is a very cool one. As you can see, it's a very simple strategy if you just follow the guidelines. It's very simple. Just make sure if you're taking a trade for uh, put option, just the trade I took uh, just now, all you just have to consider is the fact that your um, um, parabolic um, SAR must be heading down, the dot line must be heading down, the intersection between your line, between the moving average lines, the red and the green must intersect, coming down. So when you find that, and make sure that you are not taking a trade when it's late. Like currently, we, the intersection is happening and the dropping is also happening, but we can never take a trade now because the market is really down. You are, we are only taking a trade when the boat line actually intersects very uh, well, like, like the intersection must be very, very, um, was it, is, the intersection must just be starting. Like what I mean is that they make sure the intersection just happened before you enter the trade, not like this intersection has happened or the, um, the parabolic line has been coming down for a long time for you enter the trade because the market has already down, so anything can happen. So make sure that your intersection just happens, see it happening, your, um, what's it called, your parabolic line, see it just heading down. And of course, 
enter the trade it will be a good moment for you all right so guys i'll be taking more fuel trade so i'll be analyzing the market again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade okay good moment right here on this one i'm going to take a trade uh for call option or as you can see the intersection just happened right on this moment the green line is actually below the red line is above they actually intersect and of course our um, parabolic sar is heading up so good so i know that in a couple of few minutes i mean few seconds i'll be having a pull up in the market so that's the reason why i actually enter this trade so guys let's wait and see and um, we have less than um, 35 seconds right now guys let's wait and see if you're gonna lock in the money in a couple of few seconds all right okay guys so the market gets started i'm actually lost out on this one which is a very bad run so but none of the less we're gonna get back the listen we're gonna get back the loss so let's keep analyzing so i'll only be entered i'll be taking my time analyzing the market now and i'll only be entire trade when i have a good time all right so i'll be analyzing again now so when i get a good moment i'll come down and take a trade guys okay guys over here i get uh two um what's it called two trade on that so as you can see the intersection actually happened right on this position and our uh, parabolic um what's it called um dot is actually pulling up so i know that in a couple of few seconds i'll be having a pull up in the market so that's the reason why i actually entered this trade so guys let's wait and see we have less than um i think we should have less than 35 seconds right now so guys let's wait and see if we're gonna lock in the money in a couple of few seconds all right okay guys a good one there when the money on that that's a very good one so when the money on the bottom lines will actually recover back i will lose the other time so guys i'll be analyzing again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade so guys i hope you understand how this works now it's very simple just make sure you follow the guideline and the most important thing make sure you're trading on a very stable market all right so guys i'll be analyzing again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade okay guys over here i actually put in another two trade and because the reason why is the fact that the market is actually dropping itself the market is actually dropping drastically the market is actually falling if you actually study this candle right from this position as you can see the market has been falling right from there and not only that the intersection just happened our moving average both line actually intersect and of course our parabolic sar is actually falling down so good so i know that in a couple of few seconds i'll be having a very good pull down on the market so that's the reason why i'm so confident to give it out to trade again so guys let's wait and see if we're gonna lock in on this one as well in a couple of few seconds all right okay guys we have less than three seconds like this okay i win the money on that that's a good one win the money on that that's a very powerful one so guys i've been analyzing again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade all right so I want to make this video as short as possible. It's possible this is definitely going to be my last trade. But I'm definitely going to make sure that I have a good moment before I enter this trade. So guys, stay tuned because I'm still going to explain this strategy again in details on my last trade, all right? So make sure you stay. So I'm analyzing again. So when I get another good moment, I'll come down and take a trade. Okay, guys, so over here, I find a good moment for a call option trade. I actually enter this trade. All right, as you can see, the intersection of the boot line just happened. And of course, our parabolic um, SAR line is giving us a very, I mean, dot line is giving us a very huge pull up on the market. And I know that in a couple of few moments, I mean, a couple of few seconds, I'll be having a pull up on the market, which is actually happening right now. So, guys, let's wait and see. I think we have less than 30 seconds on this one. So guys, this is all that you have to do. It's a very simple strategy if you actually follow. All you just have to do is the intersection of the both moving average of any, what's it called? It's either on an um, overbought position or if you're taking a trade for a uh, put option, um, your green and the red, the green must be below, the red must be above. I mean, yeah, the green must be above, the red must be below. The intersection was happening, coming down, and you must make sure that your, uh, what's it called, your parabolic dot line is heading down so good before you actually enter the trade. So the same thing happened, it's consuming the minimum that. So the same thing happened if you are taking a trade for, uh, what's it called, for call option. So make sure that for a uh, call option, yeah, so make sure that um, the intersection actually happened, the green is below, the grade is above, and of course you're having your, um, 
your parabolic dot line pulling up so good before you actually enter the trail another thing you need to put in mind is that the intersection was happen with your boat moving average line as the number one thing and another thing is that the intersection was happen but just happening just make sure that the just enter the trade when the intersection just happened all right don't enter the trade now because if you enter this trade the market is already up so you never can say if the market is still going up or not but when the intersection nearly happened and you're having your uh what's it called your parabolic boat line dot line heading up so good then it will be a great moment for you to enter a trade so if the intersection actually happened so long time i mean a very long time ago do not enter a trade only take a trade if the intersection just happened it is very important all right it is really really important this strategy is very powerful with one minute so please only test this out with one minute again i mean with one minute alone with a 30 second kind of time frame guys this is where i'm going to stop on today's video i think we have over three thousand in profit I actually start trading with um one thousand something like one thousand um one thousand two hundred and right now we're in four thousand three on the balance so guys this is where i'm going to stop on today's video please guys i want you guys to actually try this out on any you can try it out in your demo you can try it out on your real account anyone so anyone you're confident if you want to try it out make sure you try it out on your demo account let me know what you say this strategy is very powerful like i said and it's very simple all right that's the reason why i'm actually talking very slowly it is very very simple so you don't need to actually um what's it called give yourself uh, unnecessary work hazard before you actually understand this so just make sure that you follow all the guidelines i put on this video work with that i'm so sure that you're gonna like that i'm still gonna make a lot of video on this strategy right because i actually started trying to try trying this strategy out like two weeks ago and i've been i've made a lot of profit with this strategy in both broker and pocket option and also in a quarter so i'm gonna make another video on this strategy again so that you guys can really understand everything i'm doing here so guys this is where i'm gonna end it on today's video so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you subscribe now and turn on the notification so that you won't miss out any of my upload next time i upload it and another thing i have my link i have my telegram channel link on the description so make sure you join the group so that you don't miss out anytime i want so anytime i put up a video or i have something important to discuss with you guys so thank you guys girl i love you guys um i'll be signing out on this one i love you and i'll see you on another video.